Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. Today we are going to learn about equivalent decimals. Now consider a square. If I divide this square in 10 equal parts and I select one part out of those 10 parts, how do I write it in fraction form? I write it as 1 out of 10, correct? And 1 out of 10, that is 1 upon 10, can be written in decimal form as 0 0.1. Correct? Now, what do we do is, this square which is divided in 10 parts, I further divide in more 10 parts, but this time with horizontal lines. So now, I have in all 100 parts in the square. Out of these 100 parts, I start selecting 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. I select 10 parts out of 100 parts. So this time I have 10 out of 100, that is 10 upon 100. Again, if I write this in decimal form, I will be getting 0 0.01 because we have two zeros in the denominator. So I shift my decimal point from right side of 0 to two places on the left, which gives me 0 0.10. Now, this, both the decimal fractions are equal. That is 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.10. What does that mean? That means that in a decimal number, the zero, which is at the extreme end, that is extreme right hand side, has no value. That is why I have 0 0.1 equal to 0 0.10, also equal to 0 0.100, yeah, also equal to 0 0.1000 and so on. All the zeros on the end, that is on the extreme right side of a decimal number have no value. All right. Now, let us understand how to recognize equivalent decimals. So let us take one example. Before that, we have learned that 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.10, is equal to 0 0.100, is equal to 0 0.1000 and so on. So we see here that the zeros on the extreme end have no value. These zeros at the extreme end of a decimal number are known as redundant zeros. This is similar to our original concept of whole numbers where we had 1 is also equal to 0, 01, is also equal to 0, 0, 001, is also equal to 0, 0, 0, 001, which means the zeros on the extreme left of a whole number or the zeros before a whole number have no values. Hence, these zeros are known as redundant zeros. Correct? So, what we have understood from this is that in a decimal number, the zero at the end has no value. So, I can say that if I write 0 0.1200, how many zeros are at the end? Two zeros. So, they can be ignored. They are redundant zeros and hence the actual value will be simply 0 0.12. Similarly, if I take another number 0 0.1320, how many zeros at the end? One. I can remove that zero. It is a redundant zero. Hence, the actual decimal number is 0 0.132. Let us take one more example. 0 0.50. Here, the actual value will be 0 0.5 because the zero at the end is no value. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.